I'll tell you, I don't know if you know what it's like to be working on the edge. This is pretty cool. The Hudson Edge. These are both the Hudson Edge. Right here is the Hudson Edge 22 caliber Vortex. Over here is the Hudson Edge spring piston. That's the 177. The 22 is the Vortex. And I was shooting at um, kind of a close distance today. I was doing 15 yards and 25 yards with both. I'll show you what I came up with. I have some shot groups from yesterday too. Uh, my battery died yesterday so I didn't take a glimpse of them on camera. <sighs> Let's see. I had some lousy shots down here on the left at the birds. But yesterday, this is the 177 group. And this is the 22 group. And um, that was with uh, Gamma Red Fire pellets. The 177 um, shoots Crossman Premier hollow points all over the place. That's what those are down there. It doesn't do good with crossing from your hollow points. It does good with Gomo Red Fire. So today, this is the 177 right there. Okay. And that bottom crow is the 177. Right there, the top crow is the 22. And right there is the 22. Right there. So down there is 10 shot groups, that's 5 shot groups. Uh, right here is also um, the 22 right here so did pretty good today so that's at 15 yards uh, the 22 I just got a couple days ago yesterday was the first day I used it well, let's see what these groups look like over here um, this orange one right here this is the 177, okay? Um, looks like three shots there, one there, one over here, okay? It is really windy, as usual, out here. So that's that's just something that's gonna happen with the light pellets. This shot was already there, okay, that one. Um, I don't know how I, when I did it or whatever, but right here, I took a shot there and got it on the bullseye. Then I shot over here and there's four shots down here and one on the bullseye. So that's with the 22. That's the 22 and that's the 22. So I was really pleased with how it shot. So the 177 did really good except for that one that went to the right. But oh well, that's life. Um, so they both cost me about a hundred bucks a piece. Uh, I got the 177 a couple years ago, and um, I really like it. It's one of my favorite rifles. The 22 is climbing up fast in my likes for it compared to the 177. Seems like it's equally or more accurate to the 177 with that Vortex piston. I don't know what makes it that good, but maybe it's just the way it's made. I sighted it in really good with the no scope at first on both of them. Then I added the scopes to them. This scope, this 3x9x32, came with the rifle. Uh, they used to come with a 4x32. Uh, I'm glad they upgraded it to a little bit better scope. Um, at 15 yards, I can't go more than about 6.5 power magnification on it because it gets too blurry. Um, same thing um, with the uh, Tosco scope from Walmart. It's a little easier to focus at a closer distance, but I have it set about the same, pretty close to the same magnification. Uh, this is a 3x9x40. It cost me $17 on Walmart.com, and I bought a two year warranty for $2. So it works really good. Uh, I think I put one on uh, either my 22 rimfire or my 223 um, center fire rifle. Most people put a really expensive scope on their rifles, but these work good on mine. Uh, my friend, he was shooting bullseyes at 200 yards with uh, my rifle. So, 
that's pretty cool. I don't need to spend hundreds of dollars if something inexpensive works really good. But everybody else can if they want to. Anybody can. But uh, if it works for me, I'm using it. So it doesn't matter to me if it's first focal plane or second focal plane. I just learned about that recently. What matters to me is it, it's effective. So for me, it's good so far.